people. But I'm talking about Chick-fil-A. Yes! Yeah, I'm talking about some Chick-fil-A here tonight. And I'm talking about my, mine, chicken comp. My chicken issues. Like, uh, how many people here from Virginia? Is anybody here from Virginia? Yeah, if y'all know, then y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, everyone that's like in D.C. that's like, oh, I don't go to Chick-fil-A. You know, like, well, what the fuck ever? You don't got, you know, it's a matter of convenience. There's no Chick-fil-A anywhere near you. There's not a Chick-fil-A. Is there? No, there's not. No, there's not. Um, but I live a mile from a Chick-fil-A. Woo! this poem is about. Here it goes. I'm waiting at this Chick-fil-A with sweaty palms. I'm at odds. I love you, because I'm not supposed to. You are dirty. <laughs> you are a dirty bird. A dirty bird of deliciousness and discontent. And that is why I long for you, Chick-fil-A. Now I've heard that you've been naughty. I'm donating millions to the anti-gay agenda. I am gay, you are tasty. That's our problem. <laughs> we are Star Cross, the gay man and the forbidden chicken. <laughs> but in order to ease my dissonance, I decide to create some more. Hello, this is Billy. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. How can I serve you? Oh, Billy. In so many ways you couldn't possibly imagine. <laughs> I don't need no pour down blue. I need a chicken biscuit and a number two. Yeah, throw in a three, a four, a five. Those should help with the problem of my being alive. You know, your homophobia, it gives you away. Frankly, Chick-fil-A, it makes you seem kind of gay. <laughs> this silly Billy. Well, this place, this place is a 1950s southern nostalgia fantasy, and I am your 2014 homo nightmare fairy of truth. <laughs> Boycotting you is putting a bright pink band-aid on a bullet wound. Well, there are real issues to address. Like how LGBT youth are still being bullied to death by politicians, pastors, and closeted cowards. I am sickened by our systematic reinforcement of sexual ignorance. Our sex ed classes, they tell the gay kids they don't exist. Then at some point in the hallways, they disappear. It doesn't end here. LGBT teens are being stoned to death in Iran, tortured by the police in Uzbekistan. St. Petersburg has never seen a pride parade. In 77 countries, it is still illegal just to be gay. Where have my leaders gone? Where is my Malcolm X? Where's my Mahatma Gandhi? I mean, are they all too busy protesting, eating up in KFC? Huh? <laughs> Maybe they're you, waiting to rise to your calling. Maybe they're me, staring into this oblivion in a one-man sit-in. A gatheist with a mouthful of Jesus chicken. Yes! God, God, grant me one minute of justice. One moment of solace. One, one second of equality. With an extra pickle on top. I just want one taste of liberty before I drop. <laughs> 